Good morning all. In this lecture, we are going to discuss a common mechatronic system, a 3D printer. So welcome to this lecture. So these are the com uh, components of a 3D printer uh, in the uh, YouTube links which I have provided, um, provided in the Google Classroom earlier. You would have seen uh, uh, the introduction to a 3D printer and the types of uh, printing methods. And uh, based on that, uh, uh, I am directly going to, into the components. So these are the components uh, of, a, of a 3D printer and the first component, important component is a controller board. The controller board can be an embedded controller or uh, a, uh, Arduino based controller and the filament can be uh, a PLA, uh, an ABS or resin material and uh, many filaments are available, uh, even flexible filaments are available and uh, you can uh, uh, choose uh, you, uh, the filament depending on your application. The frame, frame of the 3D printer and uh, the stepper motors, uh, the X, Y, Z uh, stepper motors, belts to connect uh, mm, uh, the motors <coughs> to the chassis mm, and uh, to move uh, parts like uh, print beds and uh, the extruders. So threaded rods and end stops and stuff which will uh, which will be commonly uh, known as mechanical switches then uh, power supply units uh, print bed uh, feeder system uh, dual extrusion and uh, user interface so uh, the controller bo board will be embedded in this uh, filament uh, will be provided uh, uh, in this uh, in this type of uh, 3d printer reality 3d printer the filament will be provided over here it will be attached over here and it will be uh, the, the filament will be given to the extruder so this is the extruder so this is extruder okay uh, so these are uh, known as frames these are known as uh, frames and then uh, stepper motors stepper motors will be available uh, uh, for each axis x axis y axis and z axis so this is a stepper motor stepper uh, motor and then uh, for x and y it will be available and uh, it will be available like uh, behind of this okay behind this uh, print pad okay then belts belts uh, uh, the motor will be connected with the belts uh, to move this uh, print pad and you can see here uh, this is a belt okay uh, threaded rods and then uh, threaded rods will be available over here uh, in this case, uh, it is embedded over uh, here, uh, and then end stops, end stops, mechanical uh, switches will be available over here. Or uh, in this case, it is available behind uh, behind the motor here. Okay, uh, so when this uh, uh, access, uh, when this, um, uh, when the three D printer uh, moves in the uh, Z axis minus Z axis, uh, it will be sensed uh, over here. Okay, since by the mechanical switch present over here. Okay, then power supply units, power supply units, uh, in this case, a power supply unit will be uh, present uh, here. Uh, it is not available in this picture. Uh, so, the power uh, supply. Um, and then uh, the print bed, this is known as a print bed on, on which the 3D objects are uh, printed. Then the feeder system, feeder system, the extruder, uh, and uh, uh, the servo motor and, uh, and the feeder pipe is uh, collectively known as feeder system and then the dual extrusion it's a type of uh, process uh, dual extrusion if uh, if you have uh, two nozzles uh, here you can find a nozzle nozzle if you have uh, two nozzles it is known as a dual uh, extrusion system okay then um, user interface and uh, connectivity so this is a user interface uh, part and connectivity uh, you can see uh, a power uh, uh, switch on and switch off uh, switch over here and uh, a, a sd card and a usb connectivity will be available okay so these are the components of a uh, 3d printer so these are the printing methods which are available uh, in the market uh, so stereo lithography uh, printers are available in the market uh, depending on uh, uh, that uh, printing method your uh, client need you can uh, select the uh, printing uh, uh, type okay 
if the client needs uh, your uh, uh, 3d printer to work on uh, fused deposition modeling then you sh you should design uh, 3d printer which uh, which works in fusion deposition modeling method okay uh, so these are the uh, common methods and uh, these are the hyperlinks which i have uh, provided uh, i would uh, provide uh, uh, this uh, presentation in the comment section so that you can refer to the hyperlinks okay so uh, uh, based on uh, uh, the common methods which uh, which are used uh, in the ma uh, in the market fused deposition modeling is available uh, uh, in colleges uh, in schools uh, so that uh, uh, it is more it's more safe so it is available in uh, students student community and digital light processing uh, it is also uh, being commonly used and stereo lithography common uh, is also commonly used then this uh, picture is uh, provided uh, to give an uh, view of uh, how big a 3d printer can be so uh, this is a human and you can see a 3d printed object uh, which is as uh, uh, tall as a human uh, about uh, four feet and this is a 3d printer environment so you can see uh, extruder here and uh, uh, this is a 3d printer okay so this is a 3d printer environment So maybe uh, you would have motors, uh, uh, stepper, uh, stepper motors side uh, on the sides so that uh, this uh, structure, this structure can be moved along uh, this axis. Okay, this and this axis. So, so this is uh, this slide is provided uh, to give an uh, uh, understanding of. Uh, uh, it is not the 3D, 3d printed objects are not uh, limited to like uh, centimeters okay it can be meters uh, dimension also so this is a, a, a far more advanced uh, 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 using uh, method of uh, 3d printers uh, so this is a, a, a method which is uh, now used to build homes in mass okay nasa uh, actually uses this uh, uh, method uh, to print uh, 3d homes in uh, mars so as you can see you uh, can have uh, uh, videos uh, interactive videos uh, in this hyperlinks so in this uh, you can see uh, the top view of a uh, of a built home uh, so you can uh, have uh, these are the frames which is uh, connected okay these are the extruder system so this extruder system can be re replaced by a uh, industrial robot so that this industrial robot uh, will be uh, rotating uh, okay uh, like a 3d printer to develop this structure to complete this structure okay so this is uh, the recent uh, 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 advancement in uh, 3d printing uh, technology okay uh, so uh, uh, this is used in Mars because uh, they can be flexible. So Mars uh, atmosphere is like uh, too much uh, polluted, uh, too much radiated. So these structures can uh, withstand uh, the force caused by the storm, the radiation caused by the uh, cosmic rays, and uh, things like that. Okay, so um, these uh, homes are used in. Um, building uh, human colonies in mars okay so uh, based on the information we have uh, acquired uh, till now uh, so th this is a reflection spot in which uh, I, I post a question the question is all models of 3d printers is a mechatronic system think about it and write why if you uh, think so if you think uh, all uh, 3d printers is a mechatronic system you um, write what is the reason take a paper and i'll give you two minutes so you can pass the uh, video over here and you can write okay so i uh, hope you have completed uh, the reflection uh, spot uh, question so that would be uh, uh, submitted as an assignment to me Okay, right. 
so the next thing is uh, uh, the generalized mechatronics uh, design process so this thing uh, uh, we have uh, looked uh, in the previous lecture so uh, as a as a recap the first step is recognition of the need so a client should uh, 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 give a need for the designer to design okay as far as the need is very precise the designer is very uh, happy to design as quickly as possible so the, the next thing is conceptual design conceptual design you, you should be able to take as many concepts as possible to satisfy the need okay there is no uh, thing as like uh, and there is only one way to uh, satisfy the need there may be many many needs there may be, uh, there may be possibilities of uh, using uh, many types of components uh, so all those con uh, concepts should be explored and uh, should be tabulated and compared okay it is not uh, uh, like uh, it should be existing in the current market uh, it should not be existing things like that uh, so you can uh, imagine as many concepts as possible and you can uh, write it down the thing is that it should be feasible and it should be justifiable okay so uh, the next thing is first principle model or mathematical modeling so in this mathematical modeling as as you know uh, mathematical uh, uh, models or uh, uh, models which uses mathematical equations uh, in which the input parameters and the output parameters are related uh, okay uh, so uh, first principle model or mathematical modeling is uh, you should uh, should be able to take uh, the input parameters of the 3d printer output parameters of the 3d printer and it should be able to relate okay uh, uh, those uh, uh, input and output parameters okay right. then the sensor and actuator uh, selection so sensors uh, uh, and actuator selection uh, actuators are selected for a, uh, for the particular design we can start then the detailed uh, math, uh, model of mathematical modeling so in this uh, detailed uh, model of mathematical modeling uh, can be able to add some more parameters into the considered mathematical model or uh, delete uh, some uh, parameters or modify okay uh, so you are finalizing the uh, uh, parameters which you are considering or uh, you may not be considering any parameters some uh, um, Mm, systems does not need a mathematical equation for its functioning uh, so it depends depends on the design okay. then the control system design control system design in this uh, uh, step you would be um, designing the controller or you can select a particular controller uh, which is available in the market okay and then uh, the control algorithm and uh, the connection between the sensors and the actuators with the controller and uh, these things can be um, designed in the controls uh, control system design and one more thing is that you can control uh, you can design and uh, the pad controllers uh, compensators and uh, 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 stuffs which uh, uh, support the control systems okay then the design optimi optimization step uh, then hardware and loop simulation uh, okay then hardware in, in loop simulation de uh, deals with uh, a step in which uh, uh, the hardware is used in the simulation um, process mm, or otherwise uh, the uh, hardware in loop simulation can be termed as a step to tune the controller okay according to the application so again the dis design optimization step and then the deployment of embedded, embedded software so uh, embedded software as, as we uh, looked in in the previous uh, lecture is a software it is a software which uh, which is a proprietary software which works in the particular hardware okay it's not common uh, or it's it is not an open software so deployment of such kind of uh, uh, softwares is known as uh, deployment of embedded softwares then life cycle optimization okay hope you have understood uh, the uh, generalized mechatronic design process okay you we'll go to the next okay this is uh, the uh, problem which the client has uh, provided so to build a th portable 3d printer to print 3d objects using pla or resin material so he has given the material the minimum size is 10 cross 10 cross 10 centimeter of resolution 50 microns okay 
so any need or any problem ha should have some uh, constraints so these are the constraints the 3d uh, cad model is ready with the operator the environment is ideal for a 3d printer and the 3d printer gets in uninterrupted power supply throughout the printing process so these are the uh, constraints which is given by the client okay hope you understand uh, till uh, uh, recognition of uh, the need uh, step and uh, we would continue the lecture in the next video thank you